Hi everyone, welcome to this week's project. Um, this week I was, I worked on a, um, what I refer to as a barnacle pot. I saw it on um, a number of uh, websites and Pinterest. Um, I chose this one because of its texture. I really, really liked the, um, the like the barnacle like holes and I want to see if I could find a way of how to do that. I think I've done that quite successfully and I think the pot has turned out really really amazing. Um, yeah so I hope you enjoy this video and um, I do apologize in advance for my voice. <laughs> it is a little bit weird as I have a good old-fashioned head cold and my voice is a little bit strained due to that. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to throw them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome to a, another um, a vessel DIY. Um, <clears throat> this one I have been wanting to do for a while with the effect and I've been playing around with paints and substrates just to see if I can get the effect that I wanted and I think I have so this was an old cookie jar that I picked up at an op shop somewhere along the line and it had a chip in the lid and um, I did use it for my candle storage but never really liked it um, and then all of a sudden it dawned on me and this is gonna sound really silly that I actually didn't have to use it with the lid <laughs> so I had covered it in resin and filled in the in the chip but when I kind of thought, oh my god, I actually don't have to use the lid. <laughs> um, a world of opportunities opened up that I thought I could do. So it's now in the top right hand corner of the screen. And I'm just mixing up baking soda <coughs> and paint. So you can see it's quite thick. Um, there's already one layer on there so what I'm adding now is citric acid and when I stir it you'll see a beautiful little reaction going on there how it's um, just reacting and getting big bubbly holes which is exactly what I wanted because the finish I want on this pot is um, I kind of want it to be a barnacle pot, uh, you know, the ones that um, have the holes all over them in the in the textured finish. So that's <coughs> that's what I'm going for by adding the um, the citric acid because I know that in the liquid it's going to start that reaction. I did try. Um, <clears throat> this out before I put it on the pot <laughs> so I knew that it was going to work um, so <clears throat> you don't want to put too much in there because um, it will keep expanding and the more that you have to um, spread it out you're going to lose the holes Although I did kind of find a way around that, but um, <clears throat> we'll see that shortly. So <clears throat> you can see those lovely little holes that are um, random and um, in the the big bit of in the in the texture of the baking soda paint. <clears throat> So it's kind of got, it does take a while to dry and it's kind of got a chalky, corally look of a finish. 
because of the baking soda and obviously where the citric acid is um, reacting with those with the baking soda um, <coughs> if it's on too thick it will fall off like you just saw but um, if you happen to put it on and then there is no gaps in it what I've done here is I've actually sprinkled a little bit on and then just sprayed it with a bit of water and let it go and do what it wants to do again so it's not as good as um, the initial reaction that you first get but it's still pretty good so now it's probably two or three days in drying and it could be a little bit dry but it's not too bad it's not as if it's breaking off or scraping but it's not rock hard so here I'm just going in with these three colors essentially to get the base color or a base color one of the base colors that I want so I'm using that um, Renault Art tan just a house paint white and the golden Hansa yellow to give it just a bit of a bit of depth there's a lot of colors that go on to this and you won't even actually end up seeing this base color not in constant not constantly you will see it in places as it will come through but you won't see the that lemony yellow as it looks now so now you can see the holes and they're going to be highlighted even more soon I really enjoyed doing this so now I'm going in with my favorite um, burnt umber and <coughs> excuse me full of the flu again um, <clears throat> so it looks like there's a lot on there and there is a lot on there and I am going to be taking a lot off um, I really wanted this to get down into the cracks to give a bit of um, depth in the crack in the cracks <laughs> So I'm just going in with a wet sponge and dry rag and just um, essentially taking 90% of the colour off that I put on. You can see down here where I perhaps I think a little bit had broken. <clears throat> so now you can actually see that base yellow coming through just a little bit but not a lot. So here I'm going in with a, it's um, a resin grey, it's called Mountain Mist. And um, I'm also going in with another colour which is um, Pendragon. It's also, it's also a resin colour. And there might even be a touch of that um, yellow the hands are yellow that is on that sponge as well so I'm just adding more depth of, of colors here just to tone down that brown essentially and to to bring in some more um, the the grays toning down the brown but the other colors are about to add or have added um, <coughs> I'm hopefully bringing in that barnacle underwater kind of a shade so this next <coughs> oh, excuse me the next color I'm gonna add looks really really bright not this color there's another one coming so this is the pen dragon that I'm putting on here and um you can start seeing the bright color that I was talking about so this is the Dulux color and it's like a mustard a cut and it's called Camo Camo but um, yeah it's 
does look really really bright and like I did with the burnt umber 90% of that paint will come off it's just giving <coughs> a little bit of color into the cracks and on top I'm also adding in here my favorite green green gold um, you can see it um, in the in the cracks and on the surface a little bit so now the, all the paint has been taken on and off and all through its series and I have just sprayed it and pushed some sand into the cracks so I just wondered what it looked like um, I did use a fine sand but it's still too coarse I think um, it's a builder's mix sand so that's probably why it's too coarse and I'm not sure I want to use black sand and our beaches here in, um, on the west coast of New Zealand are um, uh, black sand so which would be a lot finer but I'm not sure I want the black so I'm just going to have to cope with the the roughness of the fine sand at the moment just added another texture um, yeah so I'm really happy with how it's turned out that green that you can see in there is actually the green gold and you can see a little bit of the pen dragon coming through not much of the mustard but it has given it a undertone I think and just in places it's just lifted it and gave it another little bit of depth so <clears throat> overall I'm really happy with how it's turned out I did try rubbing dirt into it but um, it doesn't look as good that's that bit the white bit there has got dirt in the cracks so yeah this is how it turned out and you can see all the colors that are in it now I think you can where they've um, gone into the cracks or stayed onto the surface even when I've rubbed them off it really looks quite old and textured not 100% sure it looks like a barnacle pot but I'm gonna run with it <laughs> so yeah I hope you really enjoyed this video if you've got any questions feel free to ask just a quick couple of images here this is where I've added the dirt and then um, <coughs> rubbed it off and it's taken the layers of paint off um, so I'm going to have to go in and correct that here's a close up of the sand that I pressed, uh, pressed, pushed into the cracks and the holes <coughs> that the baking soda and the um, citric acid created